Hello and welcome to another Maggie's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. This one, Hills Town Brewery and their Spitting Llama uh, Triple. It's a 7% beer. So I had this uh, when I was in Northern Ireland and recently got it brought for Christmas for me by my wife from a um, local garden nursery. Paid a lot more for it though. In Northern Ireland in Tesco's it's four for six quid, which is bang on. Uh, it was four quid over here for a bottle, so whew. A bit of a difference in price. So, um, didn't say it's bulking. It's not our day, is it? <laughs> yes, brewed, brewed in Northern Ireland. Yeah. No, no, not our day. Mm. Don't remember it being a hazy pour. So at the moment, it's a hazy pour. Uh, it's come from the shed though, and the shed's cold. So that does have a factor sometimes. It's like a dark amber pour. Look at that, it looks like mud. Smell of good alcohol from it. Strong moulds. Right, let's dive in. And I've just drank a whiskey. I've done a whiskey with you. So um, I need to get that out of the system. So I'll just neck a bit of it first, just to clear the palate as it were. Deadly having your phone open when you're doing a review. So definitely fruity taste to it. Um, as in fruits, as in a bit of banana, a bit of cloves, a bit of cinnamon, that sort of taste. And wow, you can feel the strength of it. Gotta say, oh, the strength packs a punch. I mean, I've just done a whiskey review, so and uh, I had no next to no sleep last night. But um, I tried not to touch any any wine or beer after that, uh, doing the review, and uh, and I kept true to my word until about eleven, half past eleven, and I couldn't get to bloody sleep no matter what. But tonight I'm shattered because I had no sleep, so it's. Um, Sleep deprivation is a killer, is a, is a pain in the backside, isn't it? Uh, for people who can sleep well, who have no worries and stress in their life, fair play to you. To the rest of us, it's not the easiest. So, good strength. Um, I wouldn't say it's a top 10 beer, but uh, I'm liking the flavours. It's got good flavours to it. Not easy to pick out, and I don't know why it's so hazy. Uh, I had it in Northern Ireland, and I didn't think it was hazy. I can't remember it being hazy when I did it then. A long, a long time ago, the review, a good year or so ago now, about this time last year when I was in Northern Ireland. On a plane journey back from hell, may I remind you as well. If anybody's seen the pic, the um, footage of Storm Dennis and or Storm Carver and the planes coming in and going like that, well, ours was doing that for half an hour, and I've never been so scared in my life. I thought I was going to die, you know, genuinely thought I was going to die. I've got all my family on the plane. Um, it was uh, very hard, very hard to take in. Um, never want to go through that rubbish again, never. If someone says to me, we're flying back in a storm, I'll say, you know, I'm not doing it. 
So, going down a tree reminds me of a lighter version of McEwen's Champion Ale. It certainly packs a punch in the alcohol department. That's seven percent. I mean, it might be because I just did another review, but I know I can, I can tell the difference. This first drink of the day, anyway. Well, second drink now, but uh, I can tell the difference between um, you know strength of ales, unless I've had unless I've had a shitload and uh, you know pissed out my head. But um, I'm, not, I'm obviously not. But yeah, the haziness. I don't understand why it's done that. I mean, it's been in the, it, like I said, it's been in the in the shed, which is cold. But it was a lot clearer. I remember being a lot clearer. Doesn't matter anyway. Tastes good. Smells nice. Really good flavours in there. Now, whether you can get it over it, that's another thing. Um, Hillstown Brewery, Northern Ireland Brewery. If you ever go over to Northern Ireland and you take your car, oh my God, you're in heaven. Nip to your nearest Tesco's. Get that four for six pound deal. Go for all their four for six pound beers and ciders and you'll spend about a hundred quid. You'll fill your car up and you'll be laughing your head off um, for months because you'll have some fantastic bargains and beers that you, you've never seen or tried before. There was loads over there that I just wish I had the car with me instead of flying back. Because obviously flying back, you can't bring any back on the plane, sadly. Because uh, we had hand luggage as well. If you got, if you pay for normal luggage, you probably could. But, uh, you know, they charge a bloody fortune. So we all had hand luggage only. So, hazy amber pour, um, on nose, cloves, cinnamon, bit of banana, bit of nutmeg even, same on the taste, uh, very strong, that 7% really does translate well, really felt the oomph from it. Um, Obviously it was hazy, I don't understand why it was hazy, I can't remember it being hazy before, but in any case, Spitting Llama Triple, so, aha, uh -huh. a Northern Irish version of one of the strong Belgian ale style triple. Our champion Belgian ale has won gold in the All-Ireland Craft Beer Championship. This triple is packed with flavour, a well-rounded malt profile which is sweet matched with impressive fruit notes from the yeast. So I was right in some ways, isn't he? So yeah, that is nice. Uh, I got it for four quid this time, well I didn't wife did, but it is on a four for six pound deal in um, Tesco's in Northern Ireland. So you may well see it in other parts of the country. Um, but damn nice. That five. 4.5 out of 5. Packs a punch and it's damn nice. Oh, I feel bollocks now. And I've, I've got to go and do some uh, wallpaper stripping. Hey, Such is the life. Thanks for watching. See you soon.